one. So this is uh, our last existential question of uh, this series uh, as we open 2022. So um, I actually have a, a question for, for the team. I don't want to say it in, in my words. I want to hear it from you. So what does 2022 look like for the NEO team? If uh, you were to share this, and maybe Sole, sorry to put you on the spot, but you've been leading the team uh, uh, at large in 2021. What, what uh, is uh, 2022 looking like? Thank you, Ale, for the, for the existential question. Uh, I would like to, to start from what we actually achieved in 2021, that I think that for all of us as a team, uh, it has been a year of incredible growth. We have achieved many certainties that we, we have worked on uh, really hard to, to get them. Um, so I know that we can always uh, improve. And of course, that's the, the goal always. But uh, all the synergies that we have created, the, uh, the way we work together, we collaborate together. I think that this is something amazing that we have um, built all together. So somehow I, I really hope that 2022, it will be just a confirmation of everything we have created and built all together this year. Um, on the other hand, uh, in, term of, in terms of, of challenges we will face, in 2022, um, I, I think they will uh, not be missed. Uh, we all know and our clients know that uh, uh, there are new challenges every time behind the corner, uh, new ones uh, every time. But again, uh, uh, thanks to the, the, the th certainties that we have, um, that are actually now parts of the way we, we are and the way we work, um, I think uh, um, we will be stronger and prepared to, to face them. Um, I know that um, we all, all shared uh, one important thing, which is uh, um, achieving new goals and always uh, trying to work on personal development. Uh, we have many goals as a team, but at the same time, we, we, we also have many personal goals that uh, we would like to to work on as uh, we have all started uh, with certain uh, skills, uh, we all share the willingness to learn new ones, right? Um, in this upcoming year. Um, so yeah, I don't know guys, if you if you believe and you agree with, uh, with what I'm saying. Yes, thank you, Sole. Uh, I'm very happy that you mentioned actually personal development because it's a very big part of my, um, my goal in 2022 and I'm looking forward to work with new clients of course and every project is different as you mentioned we face new challenges every time so I'm looking forward to maybe even learn new softwares uh, you never know and but on personal level I also looking forward to focus on what actually makes me happy and as I also said in the other neo chat that uh, I want to focus more on who I'm surrounding myself with and um, and I also want to mention here, I'm looking forward to read a book of uh, Brené Brown. Uh, I'm a big fan uh, of hers, a researcher of vulnerability. Uh, it's called Atlas of the Heart. Um, so I already ordered the book um, and waiting for it and looking forward to read it and actually study it and, and take my time to actually reflect on what is in the book. Um, so yeah, it's about mapping mindfulness and connections and also language of human experience. So it sounds very interesting. Um, and I don't know, Ash, maybe you want to continue on the, I know you had some uh, thoughts as well on the team part. <laughs> yes, yeah, Sarah, it's, it's very interesting how all the team members um, contribute with, um, with, this, uh, with this team in a different way. Uh, we know that um, we have a lot of goals, but when we start to work every day, um, we have these goals in mind, but also we have a passion in, in what we're doing every, way, every day in, in our work. So, so it's very related for uh, the, the personal goals and, and the professional goals, because here in NEO, um, we are we are working in that every day. So for me, 
2022 will be a spectacular year. I always been here with a positive, a positive vibes. And uh, I know that maybe this, this year will be a challenging year, but um, do you know what is the most exciting about working at NEO is that every time you have a higher goal. So you have a higher mountain to climb. Um, it's not always the same. So we always seek to do everything better. Sometimes in this year, we thought we did that because we saw how we are growing this year. And we know that we can do better and better in the future uh, for us, for our clients, for our community. And um, this is, a, I don't know, a, a gift that we have right now in you. And um, because we are a team full of life, creativity, professionals, prof professionalism and, and commitment. So, so yeah, um, this context, um, the 2021 and the pandemic taught us that we don't know what will happen in the future, but uh, we do know that we are, and we know that whatever what happens, we will do it better um, and better together. So yeah, always uh, supporting each other and in the community and um, in our clients that always is our letter of introduction. So, so yeah, this is um, the important thing in our team that our personal goals uh, are very, very, very connected with our professional goals in, in the team. Wow, wow. That's, um, I'm really pleased to hear all of this. Um, I, I have very little things to add here. Um, on the team side, I do keep a, a, a very um, important focus on bringing a new team member in 2022. This person has been uh, what I've called now the, the unicorn we've been looking for. And of course, looking at, at what NEO is and how strong the team has become, the very first element that comes to my mind is that this person needs to be fully integrated in terms of soft skills and values with our team um, to be able then to have the, the, the hard skills part applied. Um, that it's certainly unusual uh, in many companies, but that's the way we see it at, at NEO and uh, that's our, our focus. Now, um, Looking at the 2022 from a wider perspective, maybe one thing that I do want to focus on is maybe on the positive learnings from 2021, which um, are also like those elements that were completely unexpected, like those mergers and acquisitions that happen, this massive growth of these aggregators, um, the new alliances that have been put together from those smaller um, institutions or agents who were really struggling to fight the pandemic alone, but found a great resource together. And I, I really look forward to seeing more of those unexpected uh, changes that prove how, how much uh, this uh, industry can have a, a, a very diverse adaption process and also always having in mind the student at the center and building that uh, community for them to actually access uh, education um, through better path. And Mark is not here today with us, but he I know that if he would be here, he would be certainly focusing on the importance of the community as the ethos of, of NEO. And I'm 100% convinced that this is uh, something that we will be uh, doing way more in, in 2022 still, which is keeping on fighting that, uh, that for that purpose we actually have, always putting the community at the center and leaving a legacy for the upcoming generations. So this is what the, we have for today. Once again, thank you very much. And I don't know you, but I'm absolutely fueled with energies to start this new year on the very, very, very positive vibes. 100% Ale, very looking forward to end this year and start a new one with a lot of positive energies with uh, all of you together.
Fantastic. Thank you. Thank you all. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. See you. Bye.